That's right. You beta believe it. Everybody, it's DC here, and welcome to some more Evil of Space. And yes, as you can tell, we're now in the beta branch. I've been following development on their Discord for a while, and I've been seeing what all the little things he's been uh, changes he's been doing, and things he's been adding, and mechanics he's been changing. And as you can tell, he's been working on the train too. And this is actually something I found quite interesting: is you find these patches, these huge patches of all clay. That's literally all clay, but uh, there has been a lot of work done. Uh, a lot of machines have been added. A lot of things have been changed. Uh, one of them was the terrain. Um, bring up the menu here. Uh, we can go in here, and as you can see, a few things have been added, like aluminum tier has been brought back in, and there's been some new toys to play with, like uh, as you saw in the intro video there, there's the gas dump, and there's the sifters, and uh, the filtering units, which course allow you to get different materials and also to get clay from ore water again so that is good but yeah i've been uh, following it uh being the beta branch uh, it is gonna there's gonna be changes and updates and all that stuff as i go along so uh, that's something to be bear in mind and also there's gonna be the, the odd bug or two or many depending on how it goes uh i have been sort of checking out different maps and what i've been trying to do is i'm trying to find one where we got the coal iron copper somewhat close together and this was one of the better ones um, there has been a couple of different presets too with the map making. There's plains and coasts, there's rivers and isles, and then there was, there's one other, I can't remember, uh, where am I going here? Uh, uh, good place to set up, probably right here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop where I'm going to, I'm going to get up some resources and I'll bring you back and we'll dive into it again. Oh yeah, there's actually one little just addition I forgot about and I, and I only hear it when I have my headphones on the last couple of times I've been checking out the beta branch i have been going on speakers i never really heard it but the multi-tool makes noise now winds up like a little laser beam anyway enough chit chat i'm gonna get some stone some wood some coal some copper all the good stuff and we'll dive into it you know i think this is the first time i've ever seen the snow biome before kind of cool it'd be nice if we had left the footprints but see what happens when we actually mine it that's kind of cool uh, just looking around trying to find some copper right now and I saw this and I thought I'd check it out. Anyway, okay, I am back. And as you can see, I got a whole bunch of copper, a whole bunch of coal, and a whole bunch of stone. And this will just get us going for now. Uh, we do have to do research because that's all we can do right now. We do not have much because the uh, developer has actually changed the research tree quite a bit. But as you can see now, now everything is sort of gated behind different research. Uh, so these are the ones that we get first, uh, the green ones. Uh, I'm not sure what the multiple levels are. I think it might be you have to research this to one time to get stone, the second time to get copper, the third time to get steel. This is what I'm assuming because there seems to be seven in here and seven in here and, and one valve. So I think that's what it is. Uh, you will also notice inventory upgrades. Uh, right now I only have four rows, but I think every upgrade will get me an extra row of research, uh, inventory space. Uh, we can no longer do computations in our inventory, we actually do need the computer now, so that's why uh, we do have it unlocked in here somewhere. I think it was in here. Not too sure, oh yeah. Uh, we also do have different types of tiers, uh, data, I don't know what this is yet, and of course the blocks if we can actually build with any blocks until we research them so then that means we have to get the basics going so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get a couple of furnaces going a couple of smelters actually, i only need two smel two smelters uh it's so another one he changed too is uh, when you craft for instance like a stack of stuff something or uh, even five or whatever as it crafts instead of waiting till everything's crafted to give you the items it gives you the items as it crafts it so that makes things a little bit easier. Uh, I'm going to make a third one of those. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a couple of furnaces down. That one can stay down there. That'll be the research one. All right. And get some shelters on top. And now we got to start getting some copper made because, unfortunately, I can't make anything until I get, until I get copper going. So I'm going to get some copper ingots going, and I will be right back. Another one that's been changed too is uh, there's stack limits now. 
So as you can see, everything's got its own stack limit there. Uh, for instance, multi-tools only one. Oh, we can pick up snow. I didn't know that. Uh, planks are 32, or stone 64. Outputs only have a sp specific uh, stack limit too. So like this smelter here only has a stack limit of three. So if your output is full, uh, you've got nowhere to go, and then it doesn't go anywhere. Uh, so I'm going to make a sterling engine. We're going to make a copper uh, compact generator. Guys, we need to get the computer going so we can start actually researching stuff. Um, I couldn't find any sand, but we can't actually make sand here. We can make gravel out of stone, or we can make sand out of gravel. I'll just make one of those, and I can smelt that. Uh, and I'm going to get a more copper ready and I'll be back and there we go now I got the computer so now all we gotta do is uh, get some power to this so we're gonna place a generator our still engine down we're gonna get a power generator here I don't care about the landscape we'll probably paving it like I say every time and now the computer now the computer is different than last time because we don't actually choose the recipe now now it's just basically automatic when you go and you choose your research uh, whether it needs basic computations we need uh, circuits like uh, like here you need the circuits and the basic computations. Uh, it'll automatically select it for you. So all you have to do is just choose the research. And for what we're going to do is we're going to start with... Because we're going to have to get into the arms. So I need to find uh, the automation, which is right here. So we got to research basic machines. So I'm going to click on that. I'm not actually in the actual icon, but click on that. And then uh, start researching that. So now I'll unlock that and then I can get into the arms and then we can actually start getting some sort of automation auto, automized automation going. Yes, automization. Anyway, uh yeah, this actually needs fuel. So there we go. And I believe it shows a different display depending on what it's actually researching. And when the research is done, you'll get a little check mark. Uh this is gonna take a little bit. Um yeah, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually get some research done out of the way. Uh, get some of this copper going because we got to get some stuff going. So I'm going to take care of basic machines and then automization. And then I'm going to go into decoration here and at least unlock the stone bricks. So we can, uh, the stone tiles. So i got something to build on. Anyway, uh, I will be right back. Okay, I am back. Just in time for the sun to come up even though I did cheat the morning early, but uh, we are here. Uh, I have done a few other things, too, as far as research goes. Uh, got the plant scan down out of the way. I got the storage chest uh, unlocked. Doing an inventory upgrade right now. Uh, another thing you did is, wait for it, research notification. No, it's done. So, yeah, that is done. I'm going to go ahead and start. Uh, I was going to do this next, but I think we're going to get into the automated mining, so we can at least get some some proper automation going and while that's being researched I'm gonna go ahead and empty these out because these are full again uh, we're gonna make two stone chests don't ask me how we make a stone chest but we do uh, I'm gonna make uh, oh yeah they brought he uh, brought conveyor splitters back in it's not the junctions that we used to have where uh, it came right off the conveyor it's actually a separate block now so that's good uh, I want to get these two automated for now so I want to go ahead and make four conveyors and four arms. Actually, five arms, because you can't put into a chest, you can only take out. And yeah, the video should be good. I'm just going to wait for the conveyors. Let's see, uh, I don't think it really matters what side I go on. Uh, we'll put it here. And uh, I think the conveyors got to rework too. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, let me do this. Actually, no, we don't do that. I got to put the arms first. Okay, I'm pretty much done here. Just going to put that one in there and put a chest there and we'll dump all the copper in there. So that's going to keep this thing going. Make sure I got fuel in there. That is going. All right, so now I need more copper. I need more copper so we can start getting our mine right down. Oh, I need a lot of copper. Oh, that'll be going through. So as you can see, uh, research is complete. Uh, so where is going to be the next one? I should go that way. Um, hmm. Because eventually we get into to uh, st steel. Uh, never. Oh yeah, we got to get the heat pipes going. That's actually a two minute one, so we'll get that going. And let's see if I have enough copper. We do. Awesome. So now I'm gonna. Uh, 
probably going to put this one on the copper first. No, actually, I think we're going to go on the coal first. Uh, I'm actually curious. Let's see if we can actually find anything right here. As soon as it's done crafting. Like now. Alright. So, let's see what we can get out of this. I don't know if it's going to give me anything. Uh, just stone. Okay, that's fine. I uh, should probably get some of that going eventually. Oh, no. Give me that. Give me that. I'm <laughs> not losing that. Okay. Uh, speaking of which. Get some blocks made. We're going to make them all. Sure. Going to need them all anyways. Alright. Uh, coal is over there. I don't know how accurate it's got to be. Got to love it. Okay, so the coal should be over here. Uh, I haven't decided what kind of a build I'm going to go with this time. I don't know if I want to do like a, a whole big, I don't know, industrial town, call it. Alright, so we do have coal here. Or if, uh, oh, pipes are done. Uh, hang on. I'm sorry about that. Major derailment on train of thought there. Uh, if I wanted to go with like the industrial park I was doing with before, or if we're just gonna pave the whole area in just a sprawling mess of machines and variables like Satisfactory, or we try to get to one big giant tower. I haven't decided yet, uh, but I do have to rotate this and get it hooked up. So let me do that. Okay, so I got it set up. I got self feeding too, so uh, it's feeding fuel right into the furnace. Oh, it will once I uh, get another arm made. Do I have copper for it? No, I don't. Okay, all done. I put it down and it wasn't feeding it in. I forgot that when you're using an arm, it'll only put one in there. So that is going there. Uh, I do have some bricks. Uh, recording time. Okay, we still got some time. I uh, also did some more research. I got the single storage, uh, single item storage rack uh, made. Uh, also, too, I'd like to thank everybody for punching out about the water pump. Uh, I didn't actually know that the, the, this water was actually pumpable. Uh, I knew there was an atmospheric condenser. I knew it would produce water. I didn't think that it would actually uh, produce, that it would actually pump water. Uh, if you look at the pump, it doesn't actually say anything about, uh, where is it here? Does, and it just says moves liquid between the devices and pipes. It doesn't say anything about actually being able to pump out of water, uh, out of like bodies of water, like streams or rivers. So I didn't know about that, but thank you. That is actually going to come in handy. Uh, I'm actually going to set that up here. Although I do like the looks of the atmospheric condenser because it looks like, you know, it's a it's a machine. Uh, so we are still going here. This is slowly chugging along. So I think what I might do is I might do a little bit of AFK. Let the peat. What can we use for peat? Uh, you got no uses for that yet. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to let this build up and then uh, start getting this automated. Maybe what I can do right now is go back here. Let's make another miner. Now, where is that copper deposit? Behind me. Of course it is. I think it's going to be over here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some copper conveyors going. And maybe what I'll do is I might actually pave a bit of a foundation here. Uh, that actually reminds me, I should probably make a second miner get some stone going too. Anyway, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I've decided I'm gonna, since we actually have, if I look on the map here, uh, as you can see, the world is really, 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 really big, and I'm almost gonna say he's using a fractal generator to generate the map. Uh, but we do actually have quite the lake over here, or mini ocean, or whatever you want to call it, probably a sea. Uh, but I think we're just going to pave across there, and I think we're just going to go super flat and have a big sprawling massive lag fest that is ECB Labs. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I've got this here. I'm going to keep it above a uh, few blocks above the water if, so I can get pipes and conveyors and anything underneath the floor if I need to. Uh, this has been going. It's run out of uh, oh, once or twice, uh, but we do have to get the miner down. Uh, so i got to find this copper node over here. I uh, have been doing more research. I got uh, all the decorative stuff done uh, as much as I could could anyway, so I can't get into this until we get to steel, which I'll probably start going down this route here, but I'm not too worried about building with metal. I did get some lamps already, so we have that. Um, I was also going to do, do another upgrade too, but I want to... I actually want to get to the next furnace. Uh, the next furnace... We already have copper furnace? 
They do? Okay, never mind. Uh, I was gonna get a stone furnace for the copper part. Yeah, stone furnace for the copper mine. But might as well make a copper furnace for the copper mine. Okay, so it should be on top of this hill here, I believe. Uh, if you also look too, you can it'll tell you different biomes like there's Canaver Forest or Tundra or Marsh and Volcanic Desert, but it also tells you the elevation too, which I think is handy. So if you want to know where you're going to be going and where you gotta try to get to, you know, this should be copper. Yes. So dump this here and we'll flip it around. Right there. No, it should be getting copper, right? Yes. Um, I'm not sure what the hardness means. Okay. I was looking at that before because uh, all was a all was a hardness of three, I think. Uh, but it's a multiplier. So if I go to granite, it's two, one item per two point five seconds. If I go to copper, it's one every five seconds. That's just because it's it's harder. So I might actually get a second one put down. Not too sure. Anyway, get the furnace, uh, get another sterling engine going. Uh, I gotta run over here, get some copper, and uh, get some more conveyors made. Uh, still churning along. It's still running too, as you can see. Yeah, the coal was hardness of one, so that was what it was. Now, there was others too, like, I think Darkstone was uh, harder. Anyway, anyway uh, let me get this back up and running, and I'll be back. Okay, so uh, I'm thinking about getting uh, some ore doubling going. I'm just actually looking at it right now. And if I go over here, we'll go to uh, at copper ore. Uh, this has been changed a bit too. So now it's two copper ore gets you three impure ore gravel through a hammer. You run that through a macerator, it gets two or three again. So you start with two, you end with six. I think it's basically doubling it through both processes. I'm not 100% sure. We don't have the ore washer yet, but I don't think the ore washer is going to make a big difference as far as hammering or anything like that goes. Uh, when we do get into the aluminum tier, though, we get the sifter. Now, the sifter gets these other crystals or, that come with it. The uh, malachite cluster and malachite crystal. That you just run through a macerator, and you get more copper out of it. So sifting definitely does get better yield. Like, even the clusters get... You know, five out of one, but if the drop is only one percent, whereas the crystal is ten percent, so it sort of gets you a little bit extra. Uh, don't know if this would be more efficient doing it this way, or if you'd get more going this route, or just running the gravel right through a macerator. Uh, not too sure. It's something we check out. Of course, higher tiers would be different, more, uh, more yield probably. Uh, there is neutronium tier in the game, but I don't think we can actually make the neutronium yet. I know that they are in creative, but yeah, there is no recipe for the, in the actual neutronium ingots yet. Uh, everything else, though, hard metal, titanium, all that stuff is actually in the game. Uh, so, yeah, so I gotta get some more copper going. I, I'm not gonna bother smelting any bit anymore. I'm actually gonna take this stuff apart. Uh, get a little bit more copper built up over there, and then we'll get a little quick ore doubling line set up, and then we'll call it an episode. Not the fastest thing in the world. Down about 22 in the amount of time it took me to get six, seven stacks, but mind you, it was a really big deposit. I don't think I'll need copper for a little while. Not yet, anyways. Not until I stop. Not until I make conveyors. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, start making some stuff here. Uh, so what I want to do is. My multi tool unequipped. We need a hammer, we need a macerator, and then we are gonna need. What do we have for smelting right now? Is there. There's only one level on that. Hmm. Guess we can't do much until we get to the, the arc furnace. The arc furnace, though, isn't until steel. Okay, that's fine. We can live with that. Uh, we will get some heat pipes, though. Uh, I will get some meat pipes. So, uh, logistics, I need more. Hmm. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, I had to get the, the little furnaces up and running again so I can get some more copper to make some, these heat pipes because they're not cheap. Uh, I was looking at the recipes too. Uh, I think I'm, it was like this before, but uh, uh, the gravel actually smelts faster. 
smells in 15 seconds is at 20. And then the dust itself smelts in 10 seconds. So that actually goes a little bit fa a little bit faster, which is good. Uh, research. I was actually going to start researching something. What was it? It was going to be... Oh, yeah. Get to the coke, the coke oven. So we can start working our way into steel. Coke oven and then the blast furnace. And we can start getting into steel. And then the steel is where we get the fun stuff. Anyway, uh, what was I doing here? I have enough heat pipes. So let's get... Uh, how many engines do I have? I'm going to have to make some more engines. Hmm. Uh, let's see, what do I need for them? A lot. Which really wasn't a lot, because it's already done. Anyway, uh, let's get, start laying some pipe down. Uh, where am I going to put the machines here? Let's start with the hammer. Uh, this will probably be a temporary setup until we start building up supplies that we can start expanding. Uh, copper's over there. Uh, let's do it over here, just because the hammer there, then put the macerator. Oh, research is done. Okay, that was for steel production. Or the drying anyway, so now we get to steel. So yeah, that's actually something I did notice is the icon is changing as I research. Right now it shows the copper blast furnace, so that means that we're researching the copper blast furnace. furnace. Why it's showing two numbers, I don't know. Uh, so we'll start researching that, and we'll start placing the machines down. And, so yeah, we do that. We're going to need, need a hole in the floor. we get some pipes down. Uh, not worry about the brick, because, you know, everywhere. Uh, pipes. Go like so. And then, this is something that he's added to, is, if you on the left there, it says uh, pathfinding. So if I hold shift... Then it'll sort of trace its own way to where you want to go. And it works on three different axes. As you can see, it goes up one block, and then it goes over to the right, and then comes towards me. So that was uh, an interesting one. It's still a work in progress, like a lot of things, but yeah, that's, uh, I like it. It's going to come in handy when you're building long conveyor routes going from one place to another. Uh, especially when you're dealing with like a, a miner up on the hill there and you're coming down to here you don't have to worry about trying to count how many blocks you got to go up or down and all that stuff make sure everything's going the same way and uh, i think i'll put the furnace just underneath here for now um yeah that should be it i need copper furnace and this thing is backed up again i was too lazy to put another arm on it or too cheap however you want to look at it you have to make another furnace Get our arms down. I do wanna wanna get a storage rack too. I need more copper for that. Uh, that should be done in a second. Anyway, uh, it's getting dark. Let me lay all this stuff down. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm pretty much ready. I had to get a whole bunch more copper melted and ready to go. Uh, this is the setup I got so far. So the ore is gonna come into the shelf here. It's gonna go into the hammer. It's gonna turn into gravel. It's gonna go into the master. It's gonna turn into dust. We get smelted and so go to the hammer right away and get turned into plates because that's basically everything we, the only thing we really need copper for is plates because that really comes off of there except for for wires now i don't know if i'm gonna have enough power to actually get this all going but we're gonna find out so we'll dump that in there really slow arms and fire it up now let's see how well this works Our efficiency is going to be terrible but what do you expect of this early in the game uh, definitely like the, the heating effect. Don't know if that's going to produce enough heat. Four hundred watts, what it's using. And it's producing eight hundred, so I might have to get two furnaces on here because this is going to be using power, and that's going to be using power, and that's going to be using power. Well, heat, I should say, but it's all the same. It's all heat, energy, power. Same deal, but yeah, I think I'm gonna have to upgrade, uh, put a second one on here. Uh, I'll let that get going and I'll be right back. Okay, so everything's running right now. So it actually shows me here that you're currently producing 800 out of the furnace, currently draining one, about 1,000. Uh, the reason why it's still producing right now is it's a drain of 180 because the heat pipe actually holds the heat. So now it's dropping down, which means I will have to put a second furnace on here. Which won't be a, an issue, thanks for the fact that I need copper. Uh, let's see what we got here. Where are you? Where are you? 
Oh, you're there. It's fine, because look, I have 12 plates already. And I didn't have to do it myself either. I feel special. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Uh, throw another stack of coal in there, and that should get everything running efficiency, but there's gonna end up being backed up because I know. Uh, I, everything's taking the same amount of time, except it's getting doubled, so I think once it gets to the macerator, it might have to get split up into two separate furnaces. Possibly. Uh, or smelters, anyways. But anyways, I'm going to let this build up, and then uh, I think we'll bring in the lines and get it all wired up for next next episode. That actually might be something to start researching, too, is the fluid furnace, because uh, we'll be dealing with the creosote coming out of the, the coke oven. Um... Creosote now is actually a gas, not a liquid, even though it goes into a food furnace, but that's what the gas dump is for, as you saw in the intro of the video there. And then the gas dump is great because different things burn off in different colors. The height was the methane that was given the blue flame. The creosote was actually given the red flame, and for the smoke only, it was using steam. So that was pretty interesting, really cool for effects and stuff like that. Uh, so anyways, I'll uh, get that research and I'll be bring you back when I got a whole bunch of conveyors. Okay, I'm back. And I've been at this for a little while. As you can see, I've got some conveyors, not as many as I'd like because it's not exactly the fastest thing in the world. But I think I have enough to get most of it connected. I want to get the, at least get the copper connected. And I do have a shelf where I want to get the coal set up because uh, those furnaces already went through the coal already. I had to top them up already. Oh, look at that. They're empty again. Oh yeah, we're burning coal big time. Uh, I have done a, oops, I've done a whole bunch of research. I went ahead and I got farming taken care of and uh, uh, pumps so we can get some fluids going. I uh, upgraded my inventory a few times. Uh, some other stuff I unlocked too. Uh, you know, just basic stuff get out of the way. A few more, like I said, a few more inventory upgrades. Uh, I did get the steam pack, the scanner, the screwdriver. Uh, what else was there? Oh yeah, and the circuit boards. We don't need them yet, but we're starting to get to the point where we're going to need to start making circuits, which are pretty basic, but we will need the assembler for that. Uh, what do we need? 128? We might as well start researching that while I connect the converse. So let's try this pathfinding out. Uh, I will have to grab these arms, because don't need them anymore. And yeah, we're good to go. Alright, so let's uh, get the fuel situation taken care of first. All the way over here. Give you all piled up too. I'm gonna leave this setup as it is because I want to make sure that this always has fuel. So I'm gonna take an arm like so. And we're gonna try the old conveyors at a pathfinding and see how it works. Oh yeah, I can hold click first and then hold shift. And let's see what you can come up with. Aside from the fact that I don't have enough conveyors. Not even close. No, oh, I guess not. I will return. Oh yeah, I didn't actually show this. Uh, I did actually have to double up the, the smelting side of it because it was backing up. So this seems to be just holding up. I got the two arms pulling out of the macerator going to two separate sm uh, smelters. And then they're all both going to the same hammer because it only takes four seconds to actually hammer the ingot down to a plate. So, yeah, that uh, definitely is speeding things up a little bit. It's coming through pretty quick, but the conveyors still need three. Yeah, three each. So, I think... Give me a few more minutes and I think I'll have enough to at least get the... I'll probably worry about the fuel first just because we're getting doubling out of this and it's going through fuel pretty quick, so... I'll be back. Okay, I should have enough. I expanded the platform a little bit more while I was at it, so uh, let's do this. I had to fill the furnaces up because here we have the again. So yeah, we gotta get this fuel up and running real quick here. Uh, I may have to put a second miner down, but that's fine because you can all feed into the same system. So let's test this pathfinding out. I'm hoping it chooses the route that I want to take. It just so happens that uh, you have to hold shift to pathfind, and I actually have to hold shift to run. Alright, where are you? Am I really out? Oh. Does it only go so far? 
Really? Hmm. Alright, well. Don't want up. So we're going to do two different two different routes then. Guess we'll go here. Clean that. And uh, keep in mind this is a a new feature, so it is of course a work in progress. Now let's see if we can span across the water here. I don't think it was because I was out of conveyors, because I have enough. Where are we going here? Are we going over here? Okay, this might actually work. Over here. How are you going to do it? Sure, that works. See the coal coming already. Perfect. Alright, I'll place one more there, and I should have an arm to do this. And now, for down here. Hmm. I think I'll just do it this way. Put the conveyor underneath. Go down here, and... Uh, I think while I'm at it, I'm gonna treat myself for all this hard work. I can get out of here. Come on, come on. Oh. Alright, I'll have to do the old Minecraft trick here. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna grab those. Oh. Change the sensitivity of my mouse. Always hate that when it happens. And we are going to make. Where are you? Where are you? Did I not unlock it? Oh, there it is. Oh, circuits. Oh. Oh, I need ingots for that, I think. Uh, I need ingots, I need ingots, I need ingots. I think. And I can make them by hand, and they are so expensive. Wow. Alright, well, I'm making a jetpack this time. Not today. Anyway, uh, let's get this all hooked up. So, what I want to do is get... Uh, let's give the Pathfinder another try, shall we? No. No. Okay, uh, we won't be doing it that way then. You get the idea. Uh, let me get this all hooked up and I'll be right back. And there we go. I set the position properly. Uh, okay, so now I just need... Uh, Two more arms. One, two. That coal should be here. Actually, a th third arm. Don't ask me where where I got a third arm from, but I'm going to need it anyways. Okay, so we do that, and... Come on. Oh, that's not what I wanted. One there, and one there. So now... those out. There we go. The self-sustaining coal is going to go in here. Uh, the miner is going to keep itself going as well. I don't have enough coal or copper to get the conveyors. Get this all hooked up, but I will in the next episode. And I think there's going to we're going to call it. So I thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always. I'll see you in the next one. Later.